Our first guest is an Emmy-nominated actress and writer you know from her hit HBO series, Insecure. She both executive produced and stars in The Lovebirds, which is available this Friday on Netflix. Here's my conversation with Issa Rae. Welcome back to the show, Issa. How are you? I am doing great. How are you doing? I'm doing very well. Do you have a quarantine schedule? Do you have a way through the day? That's the only way that I'm surviving. I'm such a routine person in general. So this has been like heaven and hell simultaneously. So <laughs> as long as I keep that routine, I'm, I'm all right. Uh, like a lot of people, I've been listening to a fair amount of podcasts through this. And I heard you on a podcast called The Rewatchables with Bill Simmons, where you were talking about Groundhog Day as one of your favorite movies. Do you feel as though you're living through that now? Yeah, definitely. I think, you know, which is, that's one of the greatest movies of all time. One of my favorite movies. And it was such a treat to talk about that. But it is like you're waking up with the same alarm every single day, going to the same parts of your house. The only sad part is that there are consequences for my actions. Yeah, of course. <laughs> you, uh, were you always, uh, have you always been a big Bill Murray fan? I have. I mean, I grew up on Ghostbusters. Um, yeah, he's just always been a staple. Seeing him on Saturday Night Live, obviously, he's just, he's a treat. He is a treat. Uh, another treat is, uh, is Kumail Nanjiani, and you guys did this film together. It was supposed to premiere at South by Southwest. Of course, that was one of the many things that was canceled. Uh, now it's going to premiere on Netflix. Can you tell us a little bit about the movie? Yeah, the movie is about a couple that is kind of reached a a stagnant point in their relationship and are going out on, you know, a, a night out. They're going on a night out and they are framed for murder. Like those things happen. <laughs> it's good though. Sometimes a couple needs, needs to be framed for murder to, to appreciate one another. Just to spice things up. Like, you know, things <laughs> get boring and I want to know what you're like when our lives are on the line. There is, um, uh, there's a horse in the film. Uh, this was not a real horse throughout the course of the film. There was some fake horsing happening. There was some fake horsery uh, for our safety, for Kumail's safety. Um, yeah. You know, he, you see it in the trailer, gets kicked by a horse. Um, and I made sure when the real horse was there that I kept distance from, from it. I, uh, I'm like you 100%, I never feel comfortable around horses. I don't, uh, not even, have you ridden on the horse? Is that something that seems relaxing to you at all? Not relaxing, no. I've like yeah. done the side horse thing, but even that, someone was holding my hand and guiding me, but no. Have you ridden a yeah. horse? I have ridden a horse and I hated every second of it. And it's not, I mean like, I, I just don't like that some, another brain is in charge of my speed. <laughs> Exactly, and that you're, you're just supposed to give your faith to this. It's an animal, and it's yeah. not even like, you know, there, there's no reasoning with it, so it can do whatever it feels like, so it's, it's horrifying. Uh, a lot of attention, uh, for my money, correctly so, has been paid to the transformation of Kumail, uh, who has for long, a uh, long time, been one of the funniest people working, and then he got cast in a Marvel project and is now has the most super ripped body of all time. I'm wondering if on set for this film, which was before that, he shot uh, his Marvel project, uh, was Kumail very, I imagine, conscious of what he was eating? He was conscious. He had just started the journey. And to me, that's heaven because I'm a fad diet, crash diet person, so I'm always doing something. So to meet a guy who is just as food conscious as I was, that doesn't mean I do well. I just like to try different things. Sure, and it's nice like, to have a partner through that journey. It's nice journey. to have an accountability partner, but uh, he really just took it to another level, and um, I'm extremely jealous of him.